Hi guys, in this video series I'll be showing you how to make a Geometry Dash game on Scratch. So this is part 1 in making a Geometry Dash game on Scratch. So let's get started. So okay, I have uploaded all my sprites. So first I'll show you how to code our player. So name it as player. And when we flat clicked, we need to broadcast start game. And when I receive start game, we need to make some variables. Die for all sprites. And score for all sprites. And stop for all sprites. And play a Y velocity for all sprites. And play a X for all sprites. And shake for all sprites. And stage. For all sprites and stage range for all sprites and when I receive start game we need to set die to zero and we need to set stop to zero and then we need to go to X negative 100 and y 0 we need to point in direction 90 degrees and then we need to show and then we need to set our player y velocity player x and I'm going to scroll to 0 Then grab a forever loop and grab a if grab equals so if stop equals zero then let's make a block name it as play a gravity And make sure you tick run meta screen refresh, click OK, and then play a gravity, and grab a if statement, so grab a O operator and an end operator. So if key space pressed or if key up arrow pressed and our player y velocity is equal to zero and then we need to set our player y velocity to 20. And then we need to change our player y well by negative 12. And now let's define this player gravity block. And then we need to change our y by 
I will play a YBL and I'm going to turn 16 degrees and then grab an if else statement so if touching levels then we need a point in direction grab a times and grab a round and a divide so we need a round direction divide by 90 and then we need to multiply the whole answer and then grab a if statement if else statement so if player y bell is lesser than zero then we need to broadcast player die else we need to repeat until not touching level not touching levels we need to change our y by one and then we need to set our player y well and let's make a new variable called in air for all sprites And we need to set in air to zero. Else we need to set in air to one. So now I show you how to call our levels. So click on levels. And when green flag click, we need to hide. And then let's make a variable called x for this part only. And we need to set our x to zero. Switch costume to level one. And then grab a repeat 18. We need to create clone of myself. And next costume and then we need to change our X by 480 and when I set as a clone forever we need to go to X we have a plus separator so X plus player X and Y to shake. And grab an if else statement. So if grab equals. So if our X position is equals to X plus player X, then we need to show. Else we need to hide. So now I show you how to code our background. So click on background, OBD. When green flag click, we need to go to back layer. And then we need to create clone of myself. And forever, we need to go to grab a mod and divide so player x divide by 4 and mod 480 
and why we need to go to shake divide by 4 and when I start as a clone forever duplicate change this to 480 so K So now click on backdrops and when I receive start game and then when you set shake to zero and when I receive die play a die we need to set stage range to zero and stage to zero so we need to set stage we need to set stage range to 10 and stage to 1 and then grab a repeat we need to set shape we the times operator so shape Times grab a sing and then grab a times stage I times. Then we need to change stage by negative one. And then we need to change our stage. So, okay, this is stage range. And this is stage by one. So now click on your player and need this player gravity, define player gravity we need to change player y well by negative 2.81 so ok now I'll scroll to the codes so the player And the levels and our backdrop. So now let's test our game. So now you can see our game works. Uh, so you can see our level scroll. Now player can jump as well as our background scroll. So you can see when our player touches the spike, nothing happens. So that's because we didn't code the danger yet. So in my next video, I'll show you how to code the danger and add a few particles so if you like this video please make sure to give it a like subscribe and share and see you in part 2 in making a geometry dash game on scratch